Good evening and welcome to the news of Al Shuruq TV. Today's stories include The Foreign Minister reviews ways to support Sudanese stranded abroad. U.S. provides new assistance to Sudan in the fight against the pandemic. Hamdok congratulates the workers of the Sudan on the occasion of the International Labor Day. The efforts to combat coronavirus by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, headed by Ambassador Mahiedin Salim, includes the members of several departments at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. They discussed ways to support citizens stranded in various countries in the world by involving communities in alleviating their suffering until the creation of a quarantine place for them in the country. The meeting has reviewed the experiences of the different countries in combating the pandemic through the reports provided by Sudan's missions abroad and the headquarters of the foreign ministry to benefit from them. The Minister of Information's official spokesman, Faisal Mohammed Saleh, has affirmed that the government is concerned over the issues of Sydney stranded abroad, assuring that the government is committed to shouldering the responsibilities towards the Sudanese citizens inside the country and abroad. The minister, addressing the media on the coronavirus pandemic in Khartoum, pointed out that the files of the stranded citizens are always presented before the meeting of the Higher Committee for Health Emergencies, adding they are committed to exerting great efforts to solve the problem. The previous decision concerning the stranded are based on the capabilities and readiness of the states and the committee is now working provision of the necessary support in this connection, he said. The Minister of Information's official spokesman, Faisal Mohammed Saleh, has denied the, uh, the issuance of any directives changing the curfew hours announced earlier. Mr. Faisal addressed the media platform on coronavirus pandemic said that the committee has received ill-intentioned rumors and queries caused by some circles targeting the government's precautionary measures to encourage the coronavirus pandemic with the aim of violating the curfew hours, adding that the committee announced total curfew in Khartoum state. He allowed some exclusions, including the movement of the citizens inside the district from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. There are no amendments to the curfew hours, he stressed. The minister warned that the authorities will tighten the measures during the coming days to avoid the violations of the health measures announced by the higher committee for health and emergency. The U.S. government today announced additional assistance for Sudan's COVID-19 response, which now totals $23.1 million. A statement by the U.S. Agency for the International Development U.S. aid explained that the sum includes $16.8 million for public communications about preventing infections, disease surveillance, infection prevention control, case management, water sanitation, and hygiene program, plus $5 million in cash assistance to the vulnerable families adversely affected by the COVID-19. It said the new assistance also includes more than 1.3 million in humanitarian response efforts for the refugees in Sudan. The Prime Minister, Dr. Abdullah Handok, congratulated the workers of Sudan on the occasion of the International Labor Day. The Prime Minister, in a tweet on Twitter, greeted all the workers in the country. Countries are built by the efforts of their sons, and our country will not be developed unless you preserve it. Your duty is to support the revolution of freedom, peace, and justice, he tweeted. Police units intensified its presence in the area surrounding Kober Prison, Khartoum, north, blocking the roads, leading to the prison to disperse demonstrations organized by the members of the defunct regime. Eyewitnesses and security sources said that the protesters called for the release of the arrested members of the toppled regime a matter that led to the intervention of the police to arrest some of the organizers and disperse the gatherings. Now, gatherings are banned in accordance with the precautionary measures issued by the authorities to prevent the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. The Security Committee in this of Sunnah State decided on Friday to shut down all the roads leading to the town preventing an outbreak of coronavirus. 
the joint meeting of the state government and the security committee chaired by the acting wali or governor of state general Mohammed Osman Hamid issued a decision to close the roads leading to Al Dindir, East Sinar, Al Suki, which witnessed a rise in the coronavirus infections. The decision also suspended the prayers at the mosque. A meeting of the Health Emergency Committee of North Kurdistan State had decided to completely close the state to prevent the movements between the state's localities and stressed the need to provide protection for the medical personnel. The meeting, chaired by the Wali or Governor of State, Major General Sadiq Al Tayyib Abdullah, directed Sheikhan localities to take strict decisions to close the market and gathering places after the increase of the number of cases of coronavirus in the states to eight cases. The Sudan's Liberation Movement's Transitional Council, the SLMTC, called to maintain the UNIMAD peacekeeping mission in Darfur, pointing to the continued attacks on civilians in the region. In a statement, the SLMTC said the exit strategy for Darfur ignored the security situation in Darfur and the need to protect its citizens. The group, which has supporters in the Jebel Marra area, further pointed to the continued attacks of, and human rights violations by the armed militias in, on innocent and defenseless civilians on innocent and defenseless civilians in several areas of Darfur. The SLMTC is part of the Juba peace process. Also, its leader, Hadi Idris, currently chairs the Sudanese Revolutionary Front. The statement voiced the movement's support to Khartoum's call for the UN support to achieve transition and capacity building as well as peace implementation. Reminding headlines. Foreign Minister reviews ways to support Sudanese stranded abroad. U.S. provides new assistance to Sudan in its, for, in its fight against the pandemic. Hamdok congratulates the workers of Sudan on the occasion of the International Labor Day. That's it from Al-Shirouq TV. See you next time.